let's say you wanted to show off a save file. Well, now we can. Thanks to a member of my Discord, in fact, a member of my channel, 3,14, or Pi, as I sometimes call him. He's a web developer and has created a tool, a web tool, to help us share our save files. So, yeah, let's say you wanted to share this save file. You're in the middle of combat. Perhaps you want to show off something silly like Shadowheart sleeping on the job. Perhaps you are having trouble and you want someone to help. Or maybe you've created a challenge. All right, this is my save file here. It was actually, this is the save file from the end of my 24-hour stream. This was where I stopped. You can see here, 28th of December. And let's say I want to share it with you guys. In fact, I'm going to be able to share it with you guys through this, or showing you through this video. So what do I need to do? Well, I don't need to do anything in game. I come to this website and I will put the link in the description below. It's probably easier to click that link than try and copy it down. I've already created an account using a Google account. In fact, it's my, my casual veteran gamer account. I haven't changed the icon here. You might recognize it as the old one. So I'm going to create my own save file and then download one of these afterwards and then uh, see how it works. So I'm going to go to control panel. I've got to create a title for the save. So I'm going to call this save file. But no, I'm going to call this what I called it in the game. 24 stream end. Create it. Right, it's not really created yet. This is just creating something on the... Oh, there we are, save uploaded. On the website. I'd say the first most important thing you need to do is, is upload your file. Upload save folder. So choose file. And I've already loaded into the correct file. But I'm going to start from... Here, yeah, from my C drive, go to users, click on your user, then go to app data, which is by default a hidden folder. I have unhidden it. Local, find Larian, wherever it is. There it is for me. Folders gate three, not the launcher. There, profiles, public. Save games, we're nearly there. Story. And then pick one of these to upload. So this is 24 hour end. This is the save file I've finished with. I've got all of these. All right, these are all the save files I've made. And actually, you don't upload a file, you upload a folder, which contains two files. So click on Upload, upload two files to the site. Yes. So it'll spend some time and upload it. It won't take too long. There's a couple of things. I don't really know how any of this works. I'm not a web developer whatsoever. And the, the guy who made this, 3.14's done it just on his, of his own volition. We're discussing on Discord, people saying, oh, I'd love to share files. And he just made it in his own free time. So you can select the tag if you want. This here, I suppose, would be a playthrough. But we've come up with these tags, challenge and special build if you want to create a challenge for someone or show off a build. Summary, this is the save, whoop, Dave, save file from the, I guess, tutorial video. Verbose text supports markdown if you want to basically give more description, right? This summary is only 120 characters. This is supposed to be a brief overview. It's got the, on the right hand side, the supported markdown. So if you want to add a heading, italic or bold, a link or an image, you can put that into the descriptions here. Tav, this was called 21 hour Tav. Sorry, that's a really bad name. Challenge, let's put in something in bold. So let's do two stars. Finish them. All right, save changes. It's not live yet. So post updated successfully. Let's preview it. Oh, that doesn't actually seem to <laughs> show us much different. So let's go to live view. No, it isn't quite uploaded. It takes time. So this is what would appear. Now let's actually go back to the control panel. Edit this. It's on private at the moment. And then I can click on live and save changes. It says post updated. And then I'm going to go back to the feed. And there it is. 24 stream in. Anyone can use it. So there are currently only a few save files when I've recorded this. It's just been me and 3.14, 3.14 or Pi. Just been testing some things. So that's how to upload, but perhaps you, you just want to see what other people have done. Perhaps you want to download something. So what we're going to do is let's download triplets. I've actually already downloaded it before, but let's download triplets. Click on it. We get this screen and then it's downloading down here. You can see this is the third time I've already downloaded it. And it downloads a zip file. So we want to open it up. And we want to extract it. Now, where do we want to extract it to? We want to go back to where it was before. Now, I've actually already downloaded this and extracted it. Where's it gone? Here. Now, one really, really important thing is that you name this folder exactly. I mean exactly as you see in the save files here. So triplets hyphen LV5. And you can see I've already created it here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to misname it. I'm going to say maybe... I forgot to put level five. All oh, right, so I need to create a new one. Right, sorry, my fault. So let's say triplets. And I select this folder and then I extract it. All right, cool. Let's come back to here. 
this is actually the right file, but because I've actually just deleted the proper save file, I imagine this will crash the game. Or maybe nothing will happen. So, what was it called? Task for it. Right, nothing happened. So I'm going to restart the game and then show you that it's not going to work. So here we are, just started the game again. I go to load and task for it, just, just not there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here and actually name this properly. Show more options. Rename. And I'm going to add that hyphen LV5. And just to double check, go inside and see that the save files have got the same name as the folder, which they do. So I'm once again going to restart the game. Here we are, load game. And there it is, Tarsara. Let's load it. Now bear in mind, if the person who uploaded the file had any mods and you don't have any mods, then the save file is very unlikely to work, if at all. I guess if you had exactly the same mods loaded in the same order, it would be okay, but there's no guarantee. I guess if you upload a file where you've used mods, then perhaps you can say what order you've used them in. Nearly there, I can hear the putrid bog in the background. And here we are, I've got this person's save file. They saved it just as they're getting to level five. Still breathing. So let's everything. level up this dwarf. Tavarian, nice name. Lius, I guess that's pronounced. Tarsara and Astarian, and then I can go along and do what I want. I've now got this person's save file. They've shared it with me. So what I would encourage you all to do is save your share. Save your share files. Share your save files. It'd be nice to get some challenges from you to share with everyone else. I would also be more than willing to help people out if they're in a tight spot in combat, if you want to save it in combat and see if I can uh, save you. Any of you out there wondering about the security of this and is, is am I about to download some really random virus or something? Here is the... I asked him, asked 3, 14 about this before even making this video quite a while ago. And what he said is basically is that upload will only accept two files and they're the only files will be the ones that are the safe game files. So unless someone can really input some malicious code into this very specific type of file, which is basically only used by, I guess, by Lariat, then we're safe. And I think the likelihood of anyone doing that is very low. Of course, you're still running this at your own risk. As 3, 14 says very, very astutely, just by having a computer running and you're connected to the internet is a risk. And that's fair play. That's fair enough. So yeah, there can always be a virus, but the risk is very low. So let me know if you would use, use this, want to use this. I would really encourage you to do this. I could also create save files for people. And I'm honestly, I personally, what I'd really quite like is for you guys to send in challenges that I can have, well, not just me, but everyone else can have a go at. Because I play differently to, every, to all of you. You all play differently to me. Uh, perhaps you've created a situation where in your play style, no worries, no problems. Or maybe you want to restrict something like certain items and you can, you can save during combat. Anyway, I really hope to see some save files up there. I'll be uploading some myself. And a massive thank you again to 3, 14 who has been asking around if someone is a designer to come and give this a facelift because this is his own pet project. He has just done this by himself. But as he said, he's just a developer. He is not a designer by any means. And so he's done the best he can. And thank you very much. This is massively impressive. He built this in, I think, less than a week. Just in a matter of, matter of days, he got this prepared. Anyway, I hope to see you so far. I'm going to say it once again. Thank you very much for watching. Please do join the Discord if you want to give your own ideas about uh, videos and give input. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.